Welcome, I'm Anthony, and this is Bad Idea Metals. Today, we are celebrating our one year anniversary. What's a birthday or anniversary without a little bit of cake? Happy anniversary, and thank you. I really wanna thank my subscribers. I wish I could give you all cake, but I've got about 417 subscribers as of right now, and uh, I can't send everybody cake, but just know that I greatly appreciate all of you. And I look forward to all the future subscribers that are watching right now. So take this opportunity, if you're new to the channel, to hit subscribe and check out some of the other videos that we do. We melt metals and we tear things apart for their precious metal, such as gold and silver and whatever else I can find. So that actually brings me to what we're going to do today. So a few weeks ago, I showed you how I use a toaster oven to take IC chips off of RAM. The IC chips, the known as BGA, have the, the solder points directly underneath the chip. They're the more valuable of the two, but there are also flat pack chips or the ones that have the legs that stick off over the side. Those on RAM are also uh, pretty valuable, but not nearly as much so as BGAs. Today, I'm gonna focus on video cards. Along with the RAM, that's found on video cards, you'll also find other sorts of BGAs. And I'll, I'll walk you through those, but there's one that's really valuable, probably the most valuable IC chip that you can find in a standard computer. Yes, you can find more valuable things, but when it comes down to BGAs, these BGAs are probably the most valuable um, for their, their gold content on the inside. And then, there will also be BGAs that are absolutely useless. And we'll go through that. So let's jump right in and I'll get set up and I'll walk you through my favorite BGAs that I can find in a standard desktop computer. All right, so this is an assortment of some of the cards I've collected over the last few months. Um, they typically have, have a fan or a heat sink. Um, there's the different connection styles like DVI, uh, you got your VGA and your, your, well, this one's DVI. That looks like a, a display port of some sort. More and more, you're seeing HDMI. Some S video. Anyway, you get the point. There's all these different, um, there's all these different uh, technologies. What I'm after here are the chips. So this is the best chip right here. It's a little bit dirty it's hard to see but it's got that gold corner these chips right here are practically useless they're bga styled but there's really nothing you can do to get to the bonds on the inside with any reasonable amount of effort then you've got the ram and sometimes they're double-sided as both of these are but sometimes they'll be single-sided like this one but uh the ram it's no different than the ram uh ic chips so these um are your your legs or your flat pack ones and then you got your bga style so as i pull these off i'll sort these according to whether they had legs or not but uh right here this whole exercise is to show you these guys here's a really nice big one but um when you when you pull these off, I'll show you how to separate the, the back plate off from the, the more valuable front plate. And you've got solid gold bond wires on the inside. Yes, you'll also have copper, but this is what you're looking for. These chips come in all different sizes. So what I would like to do when I have my forge back is I'm going to work on the sulfuric to get these, these caps to dissolve, leaving the bond wire behind. And then I will have a, a good estimate per pound of these to show you. So let's go ahead and get ready for that video by finishing up this video. And let's go ahead and liberate all of these from all of this. So somebody asked me why I choose broil. The reason why I choose broil is because that that means that the heating elements on the top are going to be facing straight down instead of coming up from the bottom. You'll have more direct heat 
right onto the solder. So while this is cooking, I'm gonna take off the heat sinks and I'm gonna take off these steel plates. That way there's less things in there heating up. All right, so I heard a few things dropping off. So let's, let's take a look. Now the, uh, the boards are copper based and they're gonna be very hot. Well, it looks like uh, this fell off, that's good. These uh, capacitors will rupture, so be careful. If you're gonna take these off, um, they will superheat and then rupture. Um, there's pins inside these, VGA, S-Video, and all these other things. So I like to melt the solder on these until they come off, and sometimes they'll need a little bit of help. But because I've been out here talking so long, the solder is already cooled on these. So we're gonna put these back in, but uh, as you can see, we've got one of the chips that I really like, and that's what the BGA looks like on the back. It's just a, an array of solder. Anyway. Okay. There's other fun things that fall off here as well. You get the crystal clocks, the oscillating crystals that help your your circuits keep time with everything else and sometimes you'll get other loose odds and ends but i collect them all the mlccs and the surface mount resistors they usually have numbers on them themselves uh, this one doesn't have big ones but they're very small they're right down there but they're all they all have different types of precious metals so i try to get them all so I get what I can. We'll let that cook a little bit longer as we process more boards. So in about 10 minutes, I got four of those cards processed and it will speed up as, as the day goes on and as that oven stays hot. But we've got four of these BGAs that I really like. They're still really hot. So I'm gonna not touch them. <laughs> But you'll also see we have four cards worth of these flat pack um, RAM chips, as well as a bunch of other stuff. We've got the pins from the VGA down here. We got some copper. We got our DVI, more copper, more, more just stuff. Okay, so after several hours of cooking all of these these video cards i ended up with this stack and i wanted to address two things real quick before we move on one if you overcook them they get this weird tar nonsense that goes on uh it really gums up everything so i abandoned taking the mlccs and these these transistors or these resistors off because they get really nasty and i i just try to avoid them but uh, you can see this black tar stuff, it stinks really bad. You wanna to try to avoid doing that. So don't walk away from this. Um, the, the broil is set for 450 degrees Fahrenheit and they're not right up against the heating elements, but they're pretty close. So I wouldn't doubt that these got above three, maybe even 400 degrees for a time. And you can see that they got this, this nasty black plastic looking tar. Um, it stinks really bad when it does get that bad or when it gets this 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 uh i don't even know what you call it overcooked so just know that that will happen if you aren't paying attention the other thing to note i don't know if it's going to show up on the camera but there's there's sublimated boards this is a gold board underneath some of the green you'll find it it might not be underneath all of it i don't really see it in all of these little holes but you can see that it's definitely here underneath that main processor piece and over here on this corner. So this is really what I'm after here. Um, I really like the, uh, the, the gold quartered VGAs and I threw them all together with these other ones just to show you that they look pretty similar. They're the right, you know, they're about the same size. They're about the same shape. The only major difference, again, as we covered earlier is these have the gold corner and then these don't. There are people who have gone in and tried to show how to get 
the the bond wire out from inside of the the green fiber boards here but i'm not interested in that and i've already taken this one apart but it's as easy as grabbing it by a corner and just peeling it up and just continue on all all the corners but i mean this one there now there are some gold contacts down here but there's not very much these really are not very um profitable but you can process them if you have enough of them but it's really these top black caps that you're after and the fun part is the uh the tin and the other solder is now discarded or is isolated away with these fiber backing so what we'll find inside here are uh, solid gold leads or bond wires that go from the die in the middle out to the edges where the where the bga connectors were and those transitions would be a copper a copper bond wire of sorts as well with some sulfuric you can dissolve off these caps and then that'll leave you with some copper and mostly the gold the gold pieces in the middle so that's really good because then the processing of these is actually much simpler than fingers or pins that have that have nickel and all the other the other base metals which we'll find in here which i'll get to in just a second but these right here are really easy so let's go ahead and and count how many of these we have um off of off of all these video cards so we had 24 that we're after and i would say another 30 to 40 right here of ones that we weren't after just a general estimate and it's not proven yet and that's what i hope to prove here in the near future but um because of the diff because of the differing size of these of these black panels um i've given a just a rough estimate that there's about 50 cents worth of gold in each one of these so if that's really true then this should be about twelve dollars us but i don't have that i don't have that experiment done yet and i hope to do that here pretty soon um and uh I'll, I'll get to that here probably in the next month so from all of this nonsense over here i've got maybe twelve dollars worth of gold in just these alone okay the other thing that i really am after here all of these video adapters have pins of some sort or another. I don't know if you can tell, but this DVI connector here has gold plated pins and they're gold plated all the way down to their solder points. Not all of them will be so thoroughly gold plated and I'm sure they'll have different variations of, of thickness and of, of purity. Um, it's probably either eight carat or less and it's plated in such thin plates that uh it, you'll really need a ton of these to to make much of anything but i got a lot here so that's really exciting and then there's also the mlccs and there's those um smd resistors that have silver and stuff like that so i don't know i don't have any good estimate as to how valuable this bucket is right now but uh there's a lot of pins on all those connectors as well as all of the debris which uh I'll have to sort somehow, but there you go. That is what I'm after. So nothing too fancy. Um, just takes a few hours to get those separated. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you are entertained by all this. And if you look forward as I do to all the stuff that I've got coming out next, we'll see you in the next video.